Alice Kettle and I work in embroidery. I work in stitch textiles, sometimes I use printing as well and I make large scale, big narrative, figura many figurative pieces of work. Um, I've got my sewing machines here which I use and they're kind of like a drawing tool. I use lots of different threads and create these kind of large tableaus which are about um, myself, my, my life, but also maybe about contemporary events. So my studio, um, I'm in a new studio now. Um, very, very recently I've moved into this lovely new studio. So I've got all my machines here. I have digital machines, analog machines, uh, also machines, for, and I swap between the two. I'm used to working in a very small space, so suddenly this expanded in a big space allows me to open the fabric up and see what I'm doing in a way that I've never done before. Some of the time I'm doing paintings, I've got paintings around the walls because I would do sort of chalk drawings and paintings just to kind of explore ideas in a much more kind of um, quicker, a quicker way than which might be a way that I can then think about ideas that might print up primarily translate into print or then stitch, so I'm using a combination of medium. Um, a lot of the work that I do, um, I do in reverse, so I do from the back of the fabric, and that's really because I'm mixing all the threads, I'm using a lot of different thicknesses of thread, um, different types of thread, and the thicker thread I can't fit through the needle, so I have to have it in the bobbin. I play with the qualities of thread so that uh, the matte soft cottons which absorb the light are contrasted with the reflected met metallic threads which are shiny and so they reflect the light and so together in combination um, you get these floating threads which kind of look as though there's a kind of layer of thread opening up the pictorial depth and creating kind of rich surface. And the reason I use thick threads as well is so that I can use, you know, I give emphasis to drawing. So a lot of the kind of figurative works, you know, they're outlined or drawn the features with, with a thicker thread. And it creates this kind of rich rhythm, rhythmic surface where all the threads kind of change directions. So the light quality kind of engages with it in different ways. A lot of it's very unpredictable. I can't always tell what's happening on the reverse. Um, so a lot of cutting and pasting and reconstructing and re-stitching re together. But that's kind of very much part of the way I work. And this, this new studio where I can actually see that, you know, see what's happening with the work may, may change. It may make the work um, look very different. Mm -hmm.